Hello, everybody. Uh, let me introduce you a person, Peter. Peter was three years old when he was given by his mother to another poor family in Amazon. Since the beginning, Peter had to work to buy his own clothes, his own shoes, his own medicines, medicines which he needed because he had dengue fever once and malaria five times in his short life. Peter, like many other boys in Brazil, dreamed to be a soccer player. But Peter couldn't be a soccer player because Peter was a slave working in a cattle ranch in the Amazon rainforest. Peter was a modern day slave. Who stole Peter's future? This question haunts me a lot because the farmer was not the only one to profit with his enslavement. And the cattle breeders, and the slaughterhouses, and the supermarkets that bought from them, and the consumers that love to make a barbecue in the weekends and bought from the supermarket. Did they know what's going on? Did they really care? Because victims like Peter, we, a group of investigative journalists, founded Reporter Brazil, a NGO that identify and publicize cases of human rights violations and slave labor. Through our travels, we realized that contemporary slavery is a tool used by modern supply chains in the search for competitiveness, reducing costs in one hand, making people disposable in another one. Well, let me tell you a truth. We are all connected to slavery. We are connected from consumption. A car sold here was made in Detroit with steel that was produced with charcoal from a charcoal camp in Amazon that probably was used as slave labor there. This is the raw material of our cars, our buildings, our fashion. And probably everybody here has already been involved on this supply chain. Probably you finance it indirectly. How do I know that? Because since 2003, Reporter Brazil team has tracked down more than 700 supply chains of farms, charcoal camps, sweatshops, civil construction sites from which the Brazilian federal government released thousands and thousands of workers. We found hundreds of Brazilian and multinational companies in this slavery network. Since the beginning, international labor organizations supported us. Without this help, this work wouldn't be possible. Because we cannot fight using 20th, 20th century strategy a 21st century slavery. We need a 21st century tools to fight against a global and adapt new slavery. During the last 13 years, we follow trucks, timber trucks, log trucks in Amazon to find out who receives cargo with slavery. We are even helped by workers inside these companies, anonymous whistleblowers. In the last seven years, with the help of some hackers, we have programmed boats, web robots, to search digital databases in the internet, make it possible to do in months what before a human being just can do in years or decades. And in the last year, we start to use drones to take pictures and find and map production sites. The results of all of these investigations were used to convince companies to adopt transparent policies against slavery and to monitoring their supply chains. Over that 400 companies, including Walmart, Cargill, 
ADM, Petrobras, Coca-Cola, uh, McDonald's, and so on, signed the Brazilian Pact for the Eradication of Slave Labor that was organized by Ito's Institute, by us from Report of Brazil, and by international labor organization to implement corporate policies against this crime. Because, look, consumers have a very important role to play. Consumers influence investors. Look at this slide. This is what happened with the stock prices in the Brazilian stock market with some companies after they were involved with slave labor. This is the, one of the biggest civil construction companies in Brazil. They felt in just one day 3.86% in the Brazilian stock market. And that one is one of the sugar, one of the biggest sugar and ethanol companies in the world that felt 5.32% in one day in the Brazilian stock market. By the way, Walmart and Carrefour that adopted policies against slave labor thanks to Reporter Brazil research told us that they suspended all sugar purchase that same day. Even if this felt, even if this drops in the stock market, disappears some days later, they alert the companies that something can happen if they do nothing against slave labor. Because, you know, the process to build a brand reputation is so slow and so expensive, but the process to destroy a brand reputation is very fast. There is no business that wants to take the risk. Um, there is another problem. Who has time to check for information any time, each time you need to buy something? I don't have time. You don't have time. Probably nobody here has time. By observing our friends, that checking their mobiles for suggestions on what, where, we have an idea. What if we make information about slave labor as easy as looking for fashion trends? And then we created Moda Livre, free fashion in English. It's an app that shows what clothing brands are doing to fight against slave labor and human trafficking in their supply chains. We analyze their history. We check transparent, we check um, uh, monitoring, we check corporate policies by sending them surveys. We give them scores and we make it with everything simple overviews available in an app for iOS, a free app for iOS and Android. Since its launch in 2013, um, store managers are telling us that young consumers came into the stores and say, we love your brand, but we are not happy that you are doing nothing against slave labor, according to this app. Showing to the consumers that they can affect realities thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away, we bring ourselves closer to the problem. But, well, I'm not here to give you answers about the future. I show, I show you apps and digital databases, but they are just the tools of this 21st century abolitionist fight. There is something much, much, much stronger behind the tools. The strength of this new century is building on real people, becoming real players there in lives, sharing information, joining together, and pushing companies and governments to put an end to slave labor. Because if slavery is global, and the trade of goods from slavery is immediate. So the fight against slave labor must be global and immediate. I have never been able to track down Peter again, that 14 years old slave. But I do know, I do know that we will be Peter generation 
at least that part that wields communication technology the same way prior generation wield guns that will make, finally, slave labor a thing of the past. Thank you.